Well, according to Bloomberg, Spotify plans to increase prices in five markets starting uh, this month and then in the U.S. a little later on this year. Customers will see a $1 a month increase for premium individual plans and a $2 a month increase for uh, duo and family plans. So joining us now to talk a little bit more about this is Peter Kafka. He's a chief correspondent with uh, Business Insider. Uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, so I read that Spotify has yet to turn a profit, a year-over-year -year profit. They've turned some quarterly profits. So I suspect sure. that this is part of the reason behind, I don't know, mm. part of the reason behind raising the price. Uh, you tell us. Yeah, Spotify has been trying to figure out for years how to turn a profit streaming music. Um, it's a pretty tricky problem because every dollar they bring in, they basically shovel out 70 cents of that to the music labels who own this stuff. So even just raising prices doesn't necessarily solve this problem for them, but it's a start. It's one the music labels have been asking for. They've been saying, look, uh, the price for streaming video has been going up year over year over year. Music has stayed the same for years. We should charge more for this stuff. And Spotify is finally going to go ahead and do that. So um, how does the price hike impact the artists on the platform? You mentioned that 70 cents on the dollar goes to the record labels. Um, how much is shared with the actual artists? Uh, that depends. Uh, usually not a lot. Uh, mm. It's one of those longstanding complaints about streaming music from the artist is you can generate millions and millions of streams and see very little of that money show mm. up uh, in your account. Um, and that has to do sort of the structure of how these music deals are made with the labels and with Spotify. And this isn't really going to solve any of that. It's going to add a little bit more money to the overall pool, um, but not much. If, you, if you're a street, if you're a music, musician who doesn't like the amount of money you're getting out of Spotify and streaming right now, this isn't going to change that significantly. So, can I just ask real quick, Peter? Then, um, w w why wouldn't Spotify? It's to the advantage of the record labels that the music can be streamed on a platform like Spotify. Why wouldn't they say, you know what? So that we're all able to make some money, why don't we lower the amount of money, make it 40 cents on the dollar instead of 70 cents on the dollar? Because, because Spotify could say, well, we're not going to stream your artist music at all. And mm -hmm. then what would happen? The music labels and Spotify and now Apple Music, but really Spotify, have been in this sort of codependent relationship for a long time where neither of them are that happy about it and both of them would like a better deal, but neither of them can afford to walk away. Mm. Uh, the big labels need that money they're getting from Spotify. They'd like to get more, but they're not willing to sacrifice it. And Spotify can't operate without that music label's uh, uh, music. So they're, they're kind of stuck, stuck with each other in this relationship. So here's something that I don't understand, right? Didn't Spotify sign this like mega deal with Joe Rogan, like $250 million and Meghan Markle, yeah. millions of dollars for these podcasts? Um, yeah. When we have a company that's not making a ton of money, not making any money, can, can you explain this business model to me? Because I don't quite get it. Well, the, the, uh, podcasting was a bet by Spotify to say, look, we have this relationship with music labels. We were stuck with it. Um, it's the core of our business. Are there other ways that we could generate interest and revenue on our site? And maybe we don't have to hand over 70 cents of every dollar. And so that was basically a billion dollar bet they made. Um, in addition to Joe Rogan, they signed up lots of other podcasters. Besides Joe Rogan, most of those deals have not worked out for them and they've, mm. they've moved on. Um, they're going to continue to do podcasting, but it's not the giant business they were hoping it would turn into. Mm. Uh, all right, let's talk about the Living Wage for Musicians Act. What is it and how could it impact consumers if it passes? It's a bill. It's not going to pass. It's not going to go anywhere. But it, it is an attempt to to circumvent this problem we're talking about, where every dollar that you give to Spotify then goes 70 cents of that goes to the labels and a little bit goes to the artists. This is the idea to add an additional tax in which all of the additional tax dollars would go directly to artists bypassing Spotify uh, completely. So maybe you like the sound of that until you get to the fine print where you hear that this is a, the tax would be 50% of your Spotify bill. So four to $10 a month on top of what you're already paying, which is why I believe this is completely a non-starter. But it is a, a somewhat creative attempt to sort of solve this problem that we've just been talking about. Fascinating. Yeah, uh, it is. I mean, it's tough because there are so many places to get music that you don't have to pay, you know? Yeah, I mean, but like, just like a lot of pay, things, pay, you pay become... For... Say that again, Peter? You should, pay, you should pay for the music you consume. You should pay for yeah. the content you consume. Well, yeah. I was thinking, you know, I listen to a lot of music on, like, just YouTube because it's just 
readily available, yeah. you know? But but you're like more intensely yeah, into music I, than I, I am. Yeah, I pay for Spotify and I pay for it without ads for because I just, yeah, I value music and I value the artists who create yeah. it. But, but, and also like I haven't gravitated to any other because it's like kind of like Kleenex. Right. It's like, like you're, it's, it's so just what I use, right, you know? Right. Like, so I, you know, I hope, you know, I hope they figure this out. It's yeah. a really fascinating discussion. Peter Kafka, thank you for coming. Thank Appreciate you. It.